वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स ज्योग्राफी स्टैंडर्ड सेवन चैप्टर थ्री टाइड्स पार्ट टू टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम द टॉपिक इफेक्ट्स ऑफ टाइड्स विथ द हाई टाइड फिश मूव इन टू द क्रिक्स and this helps fishing activity the tides clear the waste and hence the coasts become clean ports do not get filled with sediments continuously high tide is coming that is why the ports do not get filled with sediments during high tide sea water can be stored in salt pans from which salt can be obtained you can see in the picture how the sea water is caught in a piece of land the water evaporates and what remains back salt the tidal force can be used to generate electric city timings of the tides change daily the tides are continuously occurring phenomena after reaching the maximum water level during high tide the low tide sets in there will be high tide at point p as it is opposite to the moon can you see point p and point m it is opposite to the point p as point f is opposite at an antipodal location to the point p it will also experience high tide at the same time it will take 24 hours for point p to come back to its original position that is 360 degrees point p will be at point f after 12 hours that is 180 degrees the same change will also occur with reference to the point f similarly after reaching the lowest water level during low tide the high tide sets in there is high tide and low tide twice a day a day is of 24 hours in this day how many times we are having high tide twice and how many times low tide twice the time difference between two high tides is of 12 hours and 25 minutes waves the sea water gets pushed by the wind and ripples are generated on the water surface these are called waves the sea water moves up and down or slightly forward and backward due to the waves the waves bring the energy contained in them to the coast they break in the shallow waters near the coast when we see the waves coming they appear to be so big but when they reach the coast they break large or small waves are formed continuously 
at the surface of the sea generation of waves is a natural and regularly occurring phenomenon too now next topic is structure of the waves the sea water gets pushed up and down because of the wind the raised up portion of a wave is called crest and the depressed one is called trough see in the picture you can see raised up portion is given the name crest and the depressed one is called trough the vertical distance between a crest and the following trough is called the amplitude of the wave whereas the distance between two successive crests or troughs is called wave length see two successive crest what is that called wave length the wave length its amplitude and its velocity depend on the velocity of wind the next topic is velocity of waves if we stand at the coast we feel the waves are coming towards the coast remember that the water in the wave does not move what moves is the energy the main reason of wave generation is wind but at times due to earthquakes or volcanic eruptions occurring below the floor of the sea waves get generated these waves are very destructive they cause huge loss of property and life these waves are called tsunamis in 2004 tsunami waves were generated because of the earthquake that took place near sumatra island of indonesia they devastated the east coast of india as well as of sri lanka thank you students